So how do you manage? Actually, I keep myself busy. And then we always talk. So <laughs> with that, I don't think I have that kind of time to come and start thinking about something to do to So as long as your husband or your fiance or your boyfriend will stay over there, you are ready to sacrifice yourself, you are ready to to wait for him even if not ten years. Sure. Dep Alright, my name is Matthias. I'm a life coach. Watch the camera. What is your name? Oh, my name is Mimi. Can you speak louder? My name is Mimi. Okay, your name is Mimi. Yeah. Oh. Alright, I have one small question for you. Okay. If one day your husband or your boyfriend travel, maybe to abroad, how long do you think you can stay without sex and after that period if he's not around if he does not come back you can look outside if my boyfriend you called it my boyfriend or my husband and it, we we are now close more than a friend and a brother so with that accepting the relationship means that i have to sacrifice a lot so if he should travel out or go to a far place I think I can stay for any long waiting for him till he's back as far as I, I keep myself busy. So if I get you very well, watch the camera. So if I, if I understand you, if your boyfriend like get opportunity to travel to abroad for even five years, you will wait for him until he come back. Yeah, as far as I know how committed I am, as far as I know how committed I am to him and I know how, how he values me and I also value him that some way. So what if you had the envy and he's not there? What do you do? That's a personal question and I don't have to answer that. Sorry. <laughs> no, serious. I just want to know. You know, we are human beings. You understand? We are human beings and you will like to, you know, sometimes you have some kind of feeling. But a guy travel for one year, two years, three years, four years, he's not back. But he say he will be back. Come closer. Yeah. So when you have the feeling, you know, people are in that situation. The reason why we are doing the video is not to to sell you out. It's not to criticize you. You understand? People are in this situation. Their boyfriend travel, their husband travel. So, exactly, exactly. So, how do you manage? Actually, I keep myself busy. And then we always talk. So, <laughs> with that, I don't think I have that kind of time to come and start thinking about something to do to so as long as your husband or your fiance or your boyfriend will stay over there you are ready to sacrifice yourself you are ready to to wait for him even if not 10 years sure depending on our agreement and depending on how we how close we are i can okay maybe what if the agreement is three years when he get there because of the work he had to spend five years before he come back it's actually understandable because one when you're agreeing on relationship with someone you're not just agreeing to be in a relationship with that person just for fun and secondly yeah we girls define relationship a lot and once it gets to an intimate relationship you're not talking about playing games or all this kind of hanky panky game whereby you have a guy and then you have another guy or this kind of a thing this one is that you're talking about someone you want to end up with and you love the person the person loves you the person value you the person don't actually the person shows you every time on how how much the person cares about you no matter what you want to do you always think twice and because of that one the person is actually building you because most times some so many of them they end up I, i'm actually a victim of one so many of them will actually try to build you if you want to do this if this is your career the person will want to build you and with those things you're keeping yourself busy equipping yourself trying to make yourself being be industrious many people have different kind of job just like me and then those things won't actually give you the space to come and start thinking on what to do how to keep up with him even with the way you, you you even need to pray for him as he's out there even when he tells you that maybe some so 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 and so so, so thing happened i can't be coming back it's going to be in the next two years 
understanding will help you know that this person is not actually going to go and do something stupid this person is actually trying to build his future and it's for your own good also because no woman wants to be with a man who after giving birth to children cannot train them. you cannot train them you don't even have money to fund up your family and then tomorrow you become a like is it that the two of you people becoming a liability to each other sometimes it might not end up well and then it's all right all right thank you very much mimi if i understand you very well no matter how long your fiance or your husband will stay abroad if he travel in case he travel the most important thing is to busy yourself yes. focus on something and be concentrated on that thing so that you don't have time to think about having another boyfriend aside something like that if you understand wow this is the first time i've seen somebody that um want really to be serious honest and focused and wait for his boyfriend or her boyfriend until he come back thank you very much that is what i want to so if you are watching this video right now it is possible you have to focus if your boyfriend travel or your husband travel you have to focus if you have a business focus on your business make yourself busy every time so that you will not have that uh, you will not be bored you will not be looking for another man to come and satisfy you even even if that envy come because you are busy you will not have time for it after some time it will disappear and you continue your business so thank you for watching this video